Hello all benders and non-benders and welcome back to Avatar Generations. We have got some exciting new stuff today. We got some new free loot, some new event quests, and a brand new peace character banner to summon on. So we're going to get right into it here. If you look here, we have the Global Launch 2 login events. If you notice, we have quite a plethora of loot here. Nice pile of nature stones, always good. And then if we go over here, we actually get five summon tickets, never a bad thing. And on the very last day, we get a five star character ticket. That means we get a free five star. Whatever this pulls, that's what we get. So very exciting stuff there. We have the Festival of Peace here with three Peace Chaos Summon tickets here, as well as some other goodies. Always good. We have a new bundle here. It's $50 for effectively 40 summons. Again, I'm going to say probably not worth it because, quite frankly, that's over $10 per 10 pull, and that 10 pull could be nothing. So I'm going to maintain that that's probably not a good value. We have some new events here. We have the Ascension Bazaar. This is very much focused on getting resources. If you notice here, we have different things that it's asking us to acquire, as well as like training scrolls and food and stuff for powering up your items and your characters. If you go into the shop here, I've actually gotten the vast majority of it for the day already, but if you notice, it's resources for different materials that you'll need to power up your characters. Um, so certainly not a bad thing. These reset every day, so you can get a couple extra every day to help power up your characters. Additionally, we have the Festival of Peace events here. This focusing on using Team Avatar characters, summoning on the new banner that's currently out, as well as just spending energy to get some extra nature stones. This actually comes with 10 freebies of the Peace Chaos tickets, which is pretty cool. I've already gotten them, as you can see. I've, I was pretty excited, so I went ahead and kind of moved on that. Looking at the next big thing, though, um, is the summons. Now, the nice thing is that for the current event, they actually do have some goodies in the shop at the moment, if I can just find it here. They actually are letting you get 10 free Peace Chaos tickets using your... Um, adventure um, points and they've actually upped the amount of nature stones you can get from adventure points which is pretty cool um, again though the summon tickets and in this case even the peace chaos tickets are going to be the more worth it option this is for if you had a, a truly egregious excess of adventure points then you could use it on these 200 nature stones but in absence of that you're going to want to use it on these tickets the peace chaos tickets especially as well as the powerful opponent summon tickets are still in the shop here but enough about that that's all the new stuff but we want to get into is the summoning and yes we are going to be doing some summoning today now looking at this banner as I predicted in the summoning guide I did, it is 300 to get to pity, which is a lot. There's a very real chance I could walk away with nothing from this. However, in this banner, we do have a 3% star, a three percent 5 star rate. We have some uh, supports that are very cool. Um, the moon and ocean spirits are especially interesting because they actually increase the attack of water element heroes which can certainly work out well in the long run we also have this version of ang very cool character with some seriously cool abilities he can use as is appropriate for the avatar he can use all four elements he has some very cool effects when you use him in combo attacks and he is a peace character which is very cool we also have five star Sokka and five star Toph in the banner both of them are very good in their own right as well as this relic which is very much made for this version of Aang as it once again has very strong synergy with combos and that sort of thing now 
for the five star characters, we effectively have a 1% chance of scoring one of these three. If I get Aang, I'm done. If I get Sokka or Toph, we'll keep going. We're definitely going to use the tickets here. I haven't decided on the nature stones yet. We're going to have to wait and see how it goes. But yeah, so we're just going to get right into it. Nice thing is, I'm only 50 away from getting one of these seeds, which means that Suki is about to get herself a skill token, which is never a bad thing. Get some extra abilities on her. Okay, so there is a good chance that I'm going to get nothing from this, but you never know. So we're just going to get right into this, see what happens. We're going to, you know, put our put our hands in the in the... Put our fate in the hands of luck here, and we'll see what happens. So first ten pull, first ten pull. Show me, show me that sunset. Come on, show show me. Ooh, okay, we are off to a fantastic start here. We are off to a truly fantastic start. So let's see what we have got here. Okay, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Is it you? What is it gonna be? Ah, the forgetful wolf spirit. Okay, so we've got ourselves. Oh, and. And Yang, okay, we got double five star, got a relic and a support. That's pretty cool. Okay. So two five stars in one ten pull. Already off to a very interesting start. Oh, we got two of them actually. What the heck? <laughs> I mean, that wasn't what necessarily what we were going for, but I certainly won't complain. And this wolf spirit gives a truly massive speed boost to mind type characters. So we are off to a truly fantastic start here. Also a fire paper dragon. Always good to have some merges on that to get that focus. We are off to a truly wild start here. Okay, just a reminder here. Um, this was at a 1.5%, which I mean is high, but certainly not as not, not guaranteed. And we've got the Wolf Spirit, which is just a minute chance. So we're off to a fantastic start. Okay, let's go. Let's go again. Let's let's keep up this momentum. Show me that sunset. Show me that sunset. <laughs> Seriously? No shot. No shot. No shot. Okay. <laughs> I got another one. Okay. Also got a Sky Bison, Statue Kyoshi, all right. Ah, Lion Vulture, okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all, it's actually my very first Lion Vulture. So we got yet another um, relic here, so that is three of those. This is, we're off to a, we're, we're, this is a weird one. Um, cool thing about Lion Vulture here is it increases the speed of special element heroes, which, uh, my Kiyoshi Warriors would really, really enjoy. Okay, so we this is a wild one. Okay, can we go three for three? Can we go three for three? Show me the sunset. Nope, not this time. Okay. Okay, well, you know what? It was fun while it lasted. Looks like we got just kind of a dud here. You know what? That was bound to happen eventually. Okay, that's fine. So now we're going to go again here. Oh, looks like... Okay, got four star. Very cool, very cool. Okay. Getting all that good stuff. And now we're down to our very last 10 pull using tickets. We have already had a, a very interesting time with this, getting three copies of the, of the Yang Chen's memorial. I mean... Hey. It's a... Uh, it's a five-star relic. Can't complain, can't complain. Okay, show me that sunset. I would love to be able to get Aang here and not have to spend nature stones. Let's let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Ooh, not this time. Not this time. Okay. So that's just we're just gonna go through that. Okay, I actually did get a duplicate of War Paint Sokka. Always good. Of course we got the seed here. Okay, so we got that. I am wondering if this actually resets. I'm going to assume it does. 
So we are, that kills all of our tickets. That means we're down to nature stones here. We have not walked away with the character yet. So for the time being, we're gonna keep going and see what happens. Show me the sunset, show me the sunset. Nope, that is not what we're going for. That is broad daylight. Okay, so what have we got here? We did get this guy, I haven't had him before. Not really anything crazy though, but that's okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, that did reset, that's good to know. Come on, show me the good stuff. Ooh, okay, okay, now we're cooking. We're just gonna skip that for now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess it is, like, a, if, for a five-star, I guess half of that chance does go to this, but still I am kind of over here like, oh, come on, give me a character. You know you want to. You know you want to. Got a Momo. Always fun. So we have had four of those now. Interesting. Very interesting. But that's okay. So we're going to go again here. Let's see what happens. This has been the weirdest session. No five stars this time around. Did get this, never seen this before. Increases accuracy, okay. That's that's fine and dandy, fine and dandy. So we're at 5,000 still. Let's see if we can get away with something here. Ooh, okay, okay. What we got? Um, I'm getting a lot of that statue. I'm getting a whole lot of that statue. My goodness, okay. Come on, come on. You know, it's only a 1.5% chance of getting that. Why, why am I getting so many? Come on. That could have been anything else. Well, let's see here. Let's see what we can get here. Oh, broad daylight. That's okay. Paper dragon, always good. Okay, got some got some duplicates. Okay, that's good. That's good. A few characters. Got three more ten pulls here. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got something here. We got something. And I think that is max tier on that relic. You know, I said that relics were a were a privilege, not a right. But in this case, it seems that that's all I'm getting. Okay. So we got two more. Here we go. Okay. Broad daylight. Oh, we got Invader Zuko. Okay, okay. New character at least. Four star, but hey, we do like to see the new stuff. Very cool, very cool. And then for our last 10 pull of the day, let's see what we get here. Ah, nothing. No dice. Okay. Just gonna flick, flick through all that here. Just get an Aang, always good. So, we did not walk away with a character, sadly. I could do some singles, but I kind of do prefer to do this in increments of 10. Maybe we'll revisit this if we can score some more Nature Stones and Tickets. We shall see. But I do kind of want to look at the... Weirdly enough, the one thing we did walk away with, which is very strange that we got so many copies of the Relic. Um, yeah, we got six copies of the Relic. We did also get one, one very cool wolf here, which is, you know, fine and dandy for all of my mind characters. But we got a lot of copies of this Relic. Like, dang. Okay, well, let's just... Do I even have anybody that can use the relic? Let's see here. I don't... I'm not so sure I do, actually. Because it's focused on bending masters. We're just flicking through all these characters here. I honest to goodness think I don't actually have anybody that can use it. So... That's ironic. Okay. It's like, is it good luck or terrible luck? I don't know. Actually, you know what I do want to do? I do want to put it all together, though, just to see. Let's just take a look at it. Yeah, I know. She can't use it. I don't have anybody that can use it. Cannot believe... Okay, yeah, this is enough to literally max this thing out. 
I thought I had... I thought I had six here. Oh, unless it's a money situation, in which case, I guess that's... That makes sense. Let's see. Oh, wait, I locked this one. That's right. Okay, there we go. Am I not even going to have enough money to do this? Oh, I do. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm getting a maximum tier five-star relic here, which would be great if I actually had Aang. But there we have it. So we're at a 25% HP heal for caster and ally. When that caster uses combos. That is hilarious. Okay, well, there we have it. I can't decide if that's incredible luck or terrible luck. or The, the jury's really out on that one. But I'll let you be the judge. So, yeah, that's where we're at for now. I would very much like to revisit that. But if we get the nature stones, great. If we don't, then that's just where we're going to be at. So that's all we have for today. Like I said, that was, that was the risk we accepted. It didn't work out this time around, but maybe next time we will walk away with a cool new character. So that's all I've got. Hope you all have a good one, and we will see you later. Have a good one.